Yo, Nathan, can you believe that 2012 is half over? My God, time flies. It does. And you know, we've tested a lot of cars this year, especially 0 to 60. So this is our very special top five, which means what? Our very fastest cars from 0 to 60 at high altitude. And which one do you think is number one? <laughs> Check it out now. But it's not just beauty that's skin deep because look at this my man. Whoa. Supercharged V6. 333 horsepower fed to a manual. Six speed manual baby. Zero to 60. Oh boy, it's gonna be fun in this car. Hey, we've got three people in this car. Why do we do that? Guys, the reason we have people in the vehicle is it's real world testing. We're not in a perfect place to do a perfect zero to 60. We're in the real world. So three people in the car, no big deal. This will still do well. Ready guys? Yeah, let's go. Supercharged. Nice, good takeoff, all wheel drive. I bet you can get the 60 in second gear. And there it is. Not bad, 6.65. In our last mashup video, we actually got it wrong. This puts out 420 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque. Great engine. Right, go for it. All right, little wheel spin. Solo DL is going. Car kicks me in the ass. Second gear wheel spin. And there we have it. All right. What do you think that was? Under seven. Yep. 6.14. 297 feet to get to 60. This is where the magic happens. It's a 4.4 liter V8, has two turbochargers, puts out 400 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque. Yeah, but let's really be honest with them. This car is a little bit of a pig. I mean, this is a big engine because it's a big, heavy car. Yeah, it weighs over two tons. And it's 300 pounds heavier than the previous version. All right, since we've got a $100,000 performance car, we have a little iPhone app that actually measures acceleration. So we're gonna see how fast this is. Keep in mind that this car is heavy and we're at over 6,000 feet of elevation, which means it's gonna be slower than you guys are used to. Nathan, did you put the car in the right modes? I'm doing that right now. Sport Plus. It shuts the traction control off, but as long as we don't careen into the snow, we'll be good. All right, here we go. Accelerate one ready. Here we go. Whoa, that's pretty hard. Okay, that's 60. Take a guess, zero to 60, how fast do we go? I uh, say about five and a half seconds. You are wrong, it is 5.03, just a tick over five seconds. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce the 525 horsepower, 5.2 liter V10 that puts out 391 pound feet of torque and it's hooked up to the best manual transmission Roman and I have ever used. What's crazy about this car is that we've driven cars with more horsepower. Yes, we have. But it's the sound. That, my friends, is the Solo DL, which measures zero to 60 times using what, Nathan? Satellites, GPS. So it's about as precise as today's technology allows. So when we record this zero to 60 time in this car, you will know that it is dead on accurate and it really is a driver for a slow or the air. Remember, we're at thin air, high altitude, not as much power in the car. We tell you every single time, but of course people decide to uh, not listen. All right, here we go. Zero to 60 in a 10 cylinder Audi. Lord have mercy. <laughs> go for it, Nathan. Wait, wait, okay, zero. Right. Go a little bit of a drop. There's first gear, oh, there's second gear, and there's 60. Oh, but that was 5.1 seconds, which for a normally aspirated car is not bad. <sighs> Considering the altitude, that's really, really good. 
Let's try one more. Let's try one more. Let's do it again. Yeah. We can drop it into the fours, I bet. Cool thing about the Solo is that it resets itself after every run, so we really don't have to do anything. All we do is stop the car, uh, it stops recording, and it goes back to zero. zero. So we know. So Nathan, let's see if you can break into the fours. I think you can do it. Okay. Whenever you're ready, go for it. Ready? Yeah, ready. Oh, that felt good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Woo he nailed it 4.95 now we know it's a lot faster once again we're at high altitude less power in the car good stuff but it is the fastest car we have ever tested up here absolutely absolutely even though we've had turbochargers up here this is the fastest for over 60 years the SL has been in continuous production and during those years, Mercedes has stuffed about every possible engine under the hood. And by far my favorite is this V8 4.6 liter that produces over 500 pound-feet of torque. And get this, gets 19 miles to the gallon combined, which means that it avoids the gas guzzler tax of the last generation. Pretty cool and crazy fast. You know, it's not the 429 horsepower that's going to rocket this car to 60. It's the 516 pound-feet of torque and the twin turbos. And let's see how fast we can get this to 60. Can we do it in under five seconds? The car magazines say it's just around four. I think we can do it. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Solo DL working. Here we go. That's 60. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Two people in the car, real-world testing, 4.80. Now that is fast. That is seriously fast. I guess for 120,000, you're gonna get fast.